Hey everybody, Mr. H here. Today I'm going to show you how to animate the pencil in a Pencilmation project. So let's start by going to, I'm going to create a new action script file. Hit Command Plus to zoom in. And let's create some layers right here. I'm going to start with uh, layer one is going to be the person. So this is going to be our character person. Layer two is going to be our shadow for the pencil. Layer three is going to be our actual pencil. And then layer four is going to be sound effects. All right, so where do we get the sound effects and the pencil image? Let's go ahead and go down to our browser. And I'm just going to Google search pencil PNG. Okay, the reason I'm searching for a PNG image is because the PNG retains a transparency. So if I click on this, uh, that's actually not a PNG image. Let's check this one right here. You see all these little squares here? That means that there's a transparency um, in this image. And so when we bring it into Flash, it's just going to have the pencil and there won't be any other pixels, no white space or anything like that. So I'm going to scroll down and look for a pencil, something like this, where it's horizontal. Okay, so I'll click on that. I can see it's got that checkered pattern. It means it does have a transparency on it. I will right click on it and go to Save Image As. I'll just save it to my desktop. I'll just call this Pencil and I'll hit Save. All right, the second thing we need is a sound. So I'm going to go to freesound.org and let's see, I'll search. Let's search for Pencil. All right, so we get tons of results, 453 sounds right here. So I'm actually going to go to search, I'm going to go to duration short first, and I have my search right here. I'll just hit search again. All right, so this stuff is all too short. Let me go to the second page here. All right, so I'm going to look at these and... Look at this one right here, scribble. That sounds good. Um, so let me click on this. I'll try it one more time. All right, I'm going to download this. That looks good. So that's probably going to go to my downloads folder. So let me go to my downloads folder and I'm going to move this to the desktop just to keep things simple. All right. So now I need to import this stuff. So I'm going to go to file and then I'll go to import, import to library and I'll import both of these files right here. Okay, so I've got my audio sound right here and I've got my pencil. All right, so let's start with the person right here. I'm going to draw in just a stick figure character. I'm just gonna make these frames a little bit larger so that I can see easier and hopefully that you can see easier. So I'm going to take this keyframe right here and I'm going to move it to maybe frame seven. Okay, so I don't have anything at the beginning. I just have the drawing showing up here on frame seven. So I'm going to just click maybe, let's count forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I'm going to insert a blank keyframe right here. I'll right click, insert blank keyframe. Okay, so starting here on frame seven, I'm gonna now go to frame nine. So I'm gonna use the period key to go forward two frames. I'm on frame nine right here. I'm gonna press F6 to insert a keyframe. And what I'm gonna do is take my eraser and I'm actually gonna erase part of the character. Okay, so you might be saying, but how are we gonna create this effect of the pencil drawing the character? Well, I'm going to reverse the frames after I erase this. So this is just a fast way of creating the character, okay? So now I'm going to go forward two more frames. I'm going to press the period key and press F6, and I'm going to erase a little bit more of the character. All right, I'll go forward two more frames, press F6, and I'll erase some more. I'll go forward two more frames. Insert a keyframe, and I'll erase more here. And I'll go forward again, insert a keyframe, and I'll erase more. 
go forward two more frames, insert a keyframe, continue to erase, and I'll go forward, insert keyframe, erase, and then I'll go forward, insert a keyframe, and I'll erase all this stuff here. Okay. All right. So now it looks like the character is being erased. So to reverse this, all I'll have to do is select all these frames right here and then right click and go to reverse frames. So now it'll start off with nothing and then the character will start to grow from the feet up. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my special effects layer right here and on frame 7 I'm going to insert a blank keyframe and then I'm going to go over here to my library. If you don't have your library over here, you can go to Window and then select the library right there. So I'm going to take the audio file right here and I'm going to drag it from the library onto the stage. So I'll just click and drag onto the stage. Now, I just have it in that one frame. I'm now going to extend it to frame 23. So I'll insert a blank keyframe there. And now my audio will be showing up throughout the entire project. Okay, so I can select this audio file and over here in the properties, you want to make sure that it's set to stream. Okay, all right, so as I play this now, the cool thing about this is, uh, let's see, I need, I need to take this frame and let's clear these. All right, so now, okay. The cool thing about this is once you have the audio file in here and you play it, the effect is almost done. Having the sound is what really sells the drawing of the character. Okay. Now we'll add in the pencil and the shadow, but it's really the sound that makes it convincing that this character is being drawn on the stage right here. All right. So now let's add in the pencil. All right. So let's go over here to our library. Let me go to frame one here. I'll take the pencil, drag it onto the stage. All right. There we go. It's not the best pencil image, but it'll do for the demonstration right here, okay? So here, I'm going to go to my transform, and I want to flip it. I want the shadow side of the pencil, I want it to be facing down here. So I don't want to rotate it. I don't want to go like this, because then the shadow's facing up. So I'm just going to flip it like this. Even though this is backwards, I'm not going to worry about it. Now, I'm going to shrink the pencil down. Shrink it down. Okay, maybe a little smaller. So now I've got my pencil right here. I'm going to bring this in at an angle, so I'm going to rotate it a little bit. All right. So we're going to start off the frame here. So that'll be our first keyframe. And then uh, we'll do a tween. So we'll go from frame one to frame six. And then I'll insert a keyframe. I'm going to drag this over to the start position of the character. So let me turn on my onion skin here. Okay, so, so that's where the person uh, shows up. All right, so we want to bring this in and show both the pencil where it should start and the character where it gets drawn. All right, so let's go back to this frame, make sure I can see the character. All right, so then I want to move the pencil into position down here. So we'll maybe start here. All right. So now what I can do is I can right click and create a classic tween. So I'll turn off the onion skin here. And now you can see the pencil come in. And let's slow into this final position here. So right now it's just spaced totally evenly. So I'll click on the tween right here. I'll go to my properties and I'm going to go to the ease. And let's slow into that final pose right there. Okay. So now we have more frames towards the end of the animation to slow in right there. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put in another keyframe right here. And then right here, I'll put in another keyframe. And I'm going to move the pencil up. All right, so now I'm going to put in another keyframe. So I'll press F6 right here. 
And again, I'm going to move the pencil maybe over here. So now that I'm looking at this, I want the pencil to go back and forth. So maybe I'll start, let me turn on my onion skin, and I'll start over here. Okay, so. So that if we start here, then the next keyframe, uh, we can move over to this side. And then on the next keyframe, it can move back. So there's a little bit of back and forth there. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go to frame 13. I'll insert a keyframe. Um, I'll move the pencil over. I'll go to frame 15, insert a keyframe. We'll move the pencil over to here. Go to 17, insert a keyframe, move it back over this way. And then we we'll go to 19, insert a keyframe, put it up here. And then let's see, 21, we'll insert a keyframe, move it back over to this side. And then I'll go to frame 23 and move it up to here. Okay, so now that we have the pencil in place, we're going to add in a shadow for this pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock all these other layers and I'll go to the shadow layer and I'm just going to draw in a rectangle right here. All right, and we're just going to make a, f a fake pencil. And uh, let's see, I'm going to change the color here to a lighter color. And then let's actually get rid of the outline. All right, and I'll take my eraser and I'll erase to kind of create the shadow here. Okay. So now I'm going to select this and let's go to modify, convert to symbol. And this will be shadow. Okay, I'll hit okay. And then what I want to do is I want to, um, under the movie clip options, I'm going to go down to filters and I want to go to blur and I want to blur this shadow right here. Okay, cool. All right, so now I'm going to move this over and let's actually rotate it a little bit. All right, so we're going to start here. And then I'm going to go to frame six right here and I'll insert a keyframe. I'll move the shadow over and we're going to match it up with the pencil. And then I'm going to create a classic tween. And then let's also change the ease so it's similar to the pencil. All right, let's test this out. Let's see, there we go. There's the shadow coming in. Okay. And then let's insert a keyframe and move this over, make it match up with the pencil. Move that down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go to frame nine. I want to insert a keyframe, bring the shadow up. Go to frame 11, insert a keyframe, move the shadow into place here. Go to 13. And then go to 15. Just inserting keyframes, matching this up with the image. Okay. Cool. And one more right up here. All right. So now when I play this, all right, so now we just have to get rid of the shadow and get rid of the pencil. So let's insert a keyframe maybe over here on 30 for the pencil. And I'll move the pencil off. Let's see. 
me unlock that, move that away, and I'll insert a classic tween, and we'll st we'll slow out. Okay. And then same thing on the shadow. Let's insert a keyframe. Classic tween. Go to the ease and we'll slow out of that. Okay. And then we need to move this keyframe over here. So that it yeah. All right, so now let's play this. So now I'm just going to take this frame right here and extend it to the end of the animation onto frame 30, and I'll hit play. And that's how you create an animation of the pencil drawing the character.